Okay, now I'm going to, um, I'm going back to uh, yahoo.com and uh, I have my email open for Yahoo and I have no messages because I cleaned it all out because it was really messy. So now what we're going to do is um, in our, we're going to go over to the right here and in the top right, I don't know, about an inch down from the screen, there's a little button that says options. If you click the little arrow next to the word options, you'll see mail options and mail plus. We're going to click on mail options. And like I said, if, depending on the account that you have, any web-based email um, accounts will allow you to do this in some fashion. It might be under preferences, it could be under email options, it could be settings. It, it, you know, different programs will have it ordered a little differently, but basically, they're all basically the same thing. So, you know, you'll, if you have any questions, don't feel free. I mean, feel free to uh, let me know, um, and I can walk you through it. So, we're gonna, in this case, Yahoo, we're going to go to Mail Options, and here it gives us um, some options to choose from: spam, you know, filtering out your addresses, blocking addresses. But what we're going to do is come down here to the one that says Signature, attach a custom signature to your outgoing messages, and click on that. You have an option here, again, of adding color and graphics, or you can go over to plain, which will just be just straight text. The color and graphics obviously gives you the option to make it a little bit more pretty. And so it's basically, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, I put a couple of returns, I'll put my little rule across there. Um, in this case, it's a personal email, so I might say, here's, I'll put my name down here, um, my office number, uh, Maybe um, my Skype ID, you know, some things that you, you know, for people can get a hold of you in a couple different ways. Um, okay, so there's a couple things that might be useful for people to see in my signature. Maybe, you know, I could put my, my USANA, my USANA page in there. Again, it automatically makes it a, a clickable link. And again, in, in this case, you to add um, images. Now, I haven't done an image in this one, so now it's probably going to stump me here. It doesn't look like I have the option to, to put images in this particular. No, I don't. I don't have options to put um, an image in this particular. Um, email account. So, okay. So let's say uh, you have, let's do a USANA, um, okay, we have to say independent USANA associate in this case. Let's say we want to make that a clickable link. Um, I'm going to remove this, this uh, URL here. And let's just say we want to make USANA independent associate um, a clickable link. We do have the option in, in Yahoo to do that. So we're going to go up here again. It's a little world with the with the uh, link, chain link in front of it, and click that. It will create a hyperlink. It came all the way up here. Here's a little dialog box. And again, we're just going to put in prosperitymodel.com. Click OK. In your case, if you don't have a, a domain, a separate domain of your own that points to your, you know, your personal Yasana web page, you know, most of us, my, my USANA web page is actually www.prosperitymodel.usana.com. That sometimes if you can get your own domain name that's a little bit shorter, it's better when you're using it, especially for internet marketing. So I have the, the prosperity model, it's not even the prosperity model, it's prosperitymodel.com and that redirects and points the person to my on a replicated site. So anyway, okay, so I put it in here, click OK, and then that the words independent USANA associate become a clickable link. So when somebody gets an email from me from this Yahoo address, they could actually click on that link and go to my USANA site. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. Since we can't add an image in that in this case, um, that would do it. Again, you also have the option if you highlight any of the text below, you can come up here, you can make it bold. You can go in here and make it a color. Um, you can make it larger. Let's say and fool with it until you, you like the way it looks, and then you will save it up here on the left. You see a little button that says save somewhere on your screen, whatever whatever email uh, 
program you're using, just click Save. So now when I go back to my inbox and I want to compose a new mail, we should see, whoops, that's something I forgot to do. Okay, let's go back here to Mail Options, um, back to Signature. I didn't click Add Signature to all outgoing messages. If you see down here, I need to click that box and then save it. And then as I go back, okay, and now when I come back to my inbox um, and compose a new mail message, you can see that my signature is in here. Now this is something that I really hate. Um, this is um, I'm using Internet Explorer in this case, um, which defaults all these phone numbers to this particular graphic, which I'm really not crazy about. Um, I usually use um, Mozilla Firefox um, for a lot of different reasons, but this is one of the little quirky things about Internet Explorer that I don't like. But anyway, um, I did have to go back and fool with the, the uh, HTML source code on this. For some reason it didn't display quite properly for me. But um, you get the general idea of things and um, usually it works without a problem and you can just sail right through it and add that. Um, so okay, so th that's really the basics of how to add an, a signature to your email. Again, I, using Outlook and in this case Yahoo.com, um, Gmail, Hotmail, a lot of the other programs will work very similarly to this. And if, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me and I'd be happy to help you uh, walk through it. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.